Turtles move on land, and turtles swim in the water. But whether on land or in water, turtles are great fun to watch. Turtles are famous for their hard shell, and for their ability to hide inside that shell when they sense trouble. Turtles are reptiles. But unlike reptiles, people are sometimes afraid of, like snakes or lizards or alligators, people seem to have little fear of turtles. There are about 200 different kinds or species of turtles, and today you'll have a chance to meet a few as we discover turtles on this episode of Alphabet Zoo. Turtles are found almost anywhere that is warm for at least several months of the year. A box tortoise lives on land and is found in North America. Loggerhead turtles are sea animals that only come to shore to lay eggs. And the huge Galapagos tortoises are found only on a group of remote islands off the coast of South America. Turtles are sometimes called tortoises or terrapins. Tortoises are generally turtles that live on dry land, while terrapins are turtles that live in fresh water. But whatever they are called, they are all turtles. Zookeeper Dana Payne at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington, explains. All tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. Tortoises are the turtles that walk on the land, that have feet like elephants and very tall domed shells. The tall domed shells are stronger, so they're better protection against predators and also uh, allow the animal to have more of itself on the inside. Uh, water turtles are shaped in a way that makes them very much quicker at, at swimming through the water. It's shaped for cutting through the water. And so if you pick up a turtle and you're trying to figure out whether or not it's a turtle or a tortoise, if you look at its feet and it has feet like an elephant, it's a, it's a tortoise. If you look at its feet and they're webbed, it's a turtle. And if it has a shell that looks like it's shaped for cutting through the water, then it's another clue that you've got a water turtle in your hands. Turtles have been around since the age of reptiles, when huge dinosaurs roamed the land. And amazingly, turtles have changed very little since that time. Turtles are reptiles, just like alligators, snakes, and lizards are reptiles. All reptiles have certain things in common. Like mammals, reptiles breathe air using lungs. But unlike mammals, reptiles do not have hair. Instead, they have a thick, scaly, or leathery skin covering. And turtles and other reptiles are cold-blooded. An animal that is cold-blooded has a body that takes on the temperature of the air or water around it. When the weather or water is warm, a turtle's body is warm, and the turtle is active. When the weather or water is cooler, the turtle's body turns cold and becomes inactive. So for all reptiles, temperatures greatly affect how and where they live. Turtles which live in places that have cold seasons hibernate so they don't freeze to death. As the cold season approaches, the turtle puts on extra fat which will supply it with the energy it needs during hibernation. As the temperature drops, the turtle becomes less and less active. Finally, the turtle will burrow deep into the mud at the bottom of a pond or into the ground and hibernate until the weather becomes warmer again. When a turtle hibernates, it slows down its body so that it breathes less often, slows down the number of times its heart beats in a minute, uses less energy, and is able to live with a much lower body temperature. Turtles can die if they're exposed to temperatures that are too cold. They can also die if they become too hot. To keep cool in hot weather, turtles will move into the shade or will find some cool water to bathe in. When you look at a turtle, the first thing you notice is its shell. Turtle shells can be high and rounded, low and sleek or even rough and bumpy. The shell is bony and hard and is how the turtle protects itself from its enemies. Many turtles can pull their head, tail, and legs inside their shell when they sense danger. 
A turtle's shell is made up of two parts, a top, called the carapace, and a bottom, called the plastron. These two parts are usually joined at the sides by bony ridges that are called bridges. At the front and back ends are openings, where the turtle's head, tail, and legs stick out. A turtle's shell is actually part of the animal's skeleton. The turtle's backbone is attached to the inside of the shell, with the neck and skull extending out one end of the shell, and a tail extending out the other end. The turtle's limbs are attached to the backbone and to the inside bottom of the shell. Dana Payne talks about the turtle and its shell. In cartoons, a turtle can jump out of its shell and run around and leave its shell behind. But in, of course, in reality, a turtle is very firmly attached to its shell. It can't, can't get out of its shell without dying. A turtle's backbone is really part of its shell on the inside, and its neck and tail are attached to that backbone on the inside of the shell. A turtle's shell is really interesting in the way it protects a turtle, not only in the obvious way that a, an animal that attacks a turtle will, will encounter this uh, an, an, armor, an armored box that, that the turtle can hide inside of, but also a turtle's shell is, heals very quickly. If a turtle is in a fire or is damaged by a predator, that shell heals very, very fast when, if you compare it to other things that, that are damaged and heal up in animals. When one thinks of turtles, the word slow comes to mind. And indeed, turtles are plodding, awkward movers on land. Their stumpy legs and small feet were certainly not designed for great speeds. Turtles that live in water certainly have an easier time moving about. Some, like large sea turtles, are swift swimmers and may be able to cover hundreds of miles in search of food or to return to nesting sites to lay eggs. Turtles can see quite well and can also see colors. And unlike snakes, turtles have movable eyelids and can blink. A turtle smells by bringing air into its mouth. Turtles are quiet, solitary animals and most turtles do not protect a territory. They live alone and do not form families or social groups. Turtles seldom have a need to communicate with other turtles, except during mating periods. Some turtles do make sounds, such as grunts, whistles, or hisses. All female turtles bury their eggs on land in the sand or soil. She digs a hole with her hind feet using her front legs to hold her body in place. After the hole is dug, she holds her body over the nest and deposits her eggs in it. She may lay one to more than 200 eggs. She then covers the nest and packs down the loose soil with her body. She will then leave the nest and eggs. When turtles hatch, they are born knowing almost everything they need to know to survive on their own and baby turtles that live in the water will instinctively know to head for the water upon hatching. Some turtles, especially tortoises, are herbivores and feed mainly on plants. Other turtles, such as the loggerhead turtle, are carnivores and eat crabs, fish, and other sea creatures. Many turtles, however, are omnivores, which means they eat both animals and plants. Most turtles can go for days or even weeks without eating but when food is plentiful, they will eat all they can. There are about 200 different kinds of turtles. Many are common, but some are threatened or even in danger of becoming extinct. This is especially true of sea turtles that have been hunted by people for their meat, eggs, and shells, which were used for jewelry and other items. Turtles are a wonderfully diverse group of reptiles that are beneficial to people. They have been around for millions of years, and it would be a shame if some of these reptiles became extinct in our lifetime. Turtles, wonderful reptiles who live on land and in the water. <laughs>